think some of you have looked at this. There's a, there's a number of different ways you can solve some of these questions, and I really don't want to get into the get you into the habit of thinking, well, show me how to do it, and then I'll just do it that way. I want you to think through. I've seen two or three different ways that people have solved this one. I mean, it's important to understand the question to start with here. This is, this is kind of a backwards question from the ones before it. Before you're given both magnitudes and you're asked to find the, you know, the ratio. Here you're given the ratio and one of the magnitudes, you have to find the other one. Math t teachers tend to be very algebraic in their thinking and they, me included, would, would probably say, well, I'm just going to fill this in and leave one of these things as the variable which is fine, right? You could say 375 is 10 to the 7.5 minus the smaller one, right? And then solve for X. Some people just said, well, if this magnitude is 7.5, the amount of energy is 10 to the 7.5. And they found that amount of energy, which whatever it is, it's a big number here. And then they said, well, if, it, if that number is 375 times the other amount of energy, then they just divided that by 375. And so they get another number here, the, the amount of energy for the smaller earthquake. And then to get its Richter scale number, you just take the log of that number, right? If you have the, if you have the amount of energy, you take the logarithm to get, to get this and back and forth, right? So then they just found this and took the logarithm and that, and that's it. You, you do it whatever way you want. The telephones one here. If you have two phones that are 80 decibels or eight bells, 80 decibels and 80 decibels is not, it's definitely not 160 because if you look at the scale, that would be more than a jet engine at 20 meters away and the two phones are not that loud. If you want to figure this out, 80 decibels, if, if you add the two decibels things, remember those are the exponents, 10 to the eighth and 10 to the eighth. If you, if you make it 10 to the 16th, what you're actually doing, like if you do 10 to the 8 plus 8, you're actually multiplying the numbers. This is how much one phone is. This would be like if you had 10 to the 8 phones all ringing simultaneously, but you don't have that, right? You're not, you, you can, you're adding those numbers. You're saying here's the energy from one phone, here's the energy from the other phone. So you could write it like this, 2 times 10 to the 8th. 2 times 10 to the 8th, that's how much energy it is. If you want to know where it is on the Richter scale, you just need to do the logarithm of that. The logarithm of the actual number gives you where it, not the Richter scale, the decibel scale. The logarithm of that number gives you where it actually is. The logarithm of that is 8.3 or something like that, right? Remember, 2, two times 10 to the 8th is a bit more than 1 times 10 to the 8th, so it's going to be a little bit more than 8. It's 8.3 or something like that, I think. So it's roughly, is that right? It's roughly 83 decibels. Two phones together that are each 80 are going to be 83. Remember, it's not a linear scale. You can't just add things in there, right? It's like two earthquakes that are four on the Richter scale. Don't make it a magnitude eight, right? 